Hey everyone, DIY51 here, and today uh, I'm going to be checking out the character Cyberclops, and he's probably my new favorite outliner the entire game, not going to lie to you. Um, real quick, we're going to open one Mama. Uh, right now I'm just trying to get legendary anything. I already have epics of most of the stuff I need. Uh, I just need guns that are legendary. Ooh, okay, a choice. Okay, gun choice, please. Alright, there we go. I'll get the Gamma Chong, because I need it. Nice, alright. That's the first of the guns. Always happens when I'm recording, too. Funny how that works. Real quick, I'm gonna hop into a game with my boy, uh... He's just so good at wave clear. Uh, I'll explain how he works in a second. I'm just gonna go into a Stonewood level 4 mission, or 4 times mission. Just to show you really how he works. So, I'll cut to it then. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not I'm just gonna cut to it. Alright, so I gathered as many fragments as possible. The reason I'm grabbing so many fragments is because he's a very ability focused hero, but also he doesn't have to be. So, like I said, I'm running a level or a four player mission. So, how his character works, if you don't know, I'm just gonna casually check it in the middle of getting attacked, is energy damage has a 20% chance to zap enemies and Teddy's deal energy damage. Um, there's a 20% chance that any time that he attacks, uh, he's becoming a Founder's Revolt, basically. He's able to bounce a bullet, basically, off of any enemy. As you can see there, it just happened. It's kind of, you can't, it's kind of hard to see. As you can see, it just zapped there. It zapped there. It's a pretty low chance, but if you have high-firing weapons, it happens more often, obviously. Um, abilities also work with this ability. As you can see, it just happened there. But like, you throw this down, and into like a group of enemies, especially if you're using something like this ability, like the Seismic Smash, and it, and it bounces like that, it just does so much damage. Because it's just bouncing off of enemies, and it's just... And I have um, explosive rounds as well, which is helping with that. Like here, if I can, like look at that. Like, it's just bouncing off of them. Seeing as that most Outlanders' abilities use energy damage anyway. Um, more so, especially if you have, you know, this character active. I mean, Teddy... Teddy, when you're using him, Teddy also gains energy damage. Plus, if you use Bear Stare, that's extra energy damage. You see the build I'm using right now. Basically, just Teddy Perk, Teddy Perk, Seismic Smash Perk, All Around Perk, Seismic Smash Perk. I don't know, he's just so much fun to use. Also, it's not 20% chance on a kill, it's 20% overall. So if you're hitting a big guy, you don't finish him, it still zaps, like right there, like what just happened. The only complaints I have about this character, honestly, is he's got no mobility. Besides, like, maybe anti matter punch if you have it on long arm ball, like I do. Besides that, though, maybe you'd want to put, like, bioenergy source if you have links. Anyway, I'm using slow firing weapons. You probably want to use high firing weapons, honestly, though. Because, or faster firing weapons, because. I mean, I mean, it works. But, like, if you're trying to get that maximum energy damage output, that's what you're gonna want to be using. Alright, so. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about the Atlander. I mean, I'd say he's probably like an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, he's definitely. I think he's definitely in the running to be a top tier character. Um, especially as a commander, that 20% chance for 116 of the original damage, that's pretty powerful. And especially if it makes the Teddy do electric damage, or energy damage, I mean, I think it's just a really viable character overall. I think even as a standard perk, you just throw him in any, pretty much any build where you're using things that have energy damage, and you just have a little bit of an additional damage that strikes between enemies like a Founders of All, it's just powerful. Like, I don't know how else to say it. He's just a really good character overall. He's good for an Outlander. The only complaint I really have is that he's got no mobility, which, I mean, he's got Teddy and Shock Tower and Seismic Smash, which are very, very powerful abilities. And I guess you could also complain about there being too much fragment use, but you pretty much always have max fragments anyway. It's not like you ever really run out, especially if you have fragment generation. So, I don't really see that as an issue. All right, well, that's all I've got to say for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description, and you have a great day, evening, or night.